We're KRVN Sports. I'm Jason Jorgensen. Over the weekend, there was a new school record set. UNK track and field program as Ryland Bassett of Stockton, Kansas, set the school record in the javelin throw at the meet that was held in Kearney. And he talks about the things that led up to his big effort. I mean, it just... It just felt like a good day. I talked to a few people, and they're like, uh, what's the record again? And I have a note posted on my wall, and I just keep seeing it. And it was 64.62 meters. And so I, I was telling people that, and they're like, I think it's going to be a good day. And I didn't feel too anything too special going into that day, but when I started warming up, it felt really, really good. And I had a few practice throws, and during the uh, warm-up session, and then first throw, my name was called, just sitting in the back of the runway. So I was like, all right, here we go. Went through it. It didn't feel like the greatest of throws, so, but it just kept floating in the air. And we have like a few dead spots of grass in the javelin area, and there's this one dead spot that we know is 60 meters, and it landed right in the middle of it. And we all were like, well, we know it's deep. We just don't know how deep. And so... We kind of just waited by the uh, the marker and waited for him to announce it, and then he announced 64.86, and we all got really excited. Now, people and athletes are all motivated by different things, but how big of a deal was this for you uh, as a goal to try to break that at UNK? It was definitely one of my goals. Um, when I came to Kearney originally, I didn't know what the uh, javelin record was, and to be honest, I didn't know that my uncle was the one that held it, but we came up here and I got committed and I got told, Hey, my record's up there. See if you can go break it. And so all last year I was working for it and I got close, but not enough. And so this year going into it, we have a lot, we have four great jab throwers, including me. And we're like, all right, this year is when this record's going to fall. There's no way it goes on any longer. And so, I set my goal really on that record probably at the end of last year because I knew it was possible, and I kind of wanted to beat a few people too. And so I don't think if I didn't have that extra like want to get to it, that I may have not gotten this weekend, but I did. So. Okay, my next question is then, Rylan, uh, who let Uncle Darren know that uh, his record no longer stood on the javelin at UNK? Yeah, my uh, my dad live streamed. Oh, the whole event. Oh, my goodness. Yep, and so after I got done throwing, I think between um, – at the end, I called him on the phone, and we talked to him a little bit and mm-hmm. kind of had a little friendly banter. But then uh, this weekend, being Easter and everything, we went down – I went down to Kansas and I actually saw him in person, so we talked about it a little bit more. We're talking today with UNK javelin thrower Rylan Bassard, who set the school record in the event just last week in Kearney. Rylan, the, the javelin is such a odd event. It's it's not allowed in, in a lot of different states. Kansas high school is one of the few states that still has it. What's, uh, what's the key to being a good javelin thrower? There's a lot of perseverance needed and a lot of hard work to put it into it because the thing with track and throwing is you just do the same thing over and over and over. And when you don't get any results, you can get really down on yourself. And so person uh, persevering through that. And then also injury, the javelin is very hard on the elbow and shoulder, but if you keep working at it and you keep doing the small technical things, right, you'll have success. But the biggest thing is just perseverance and patience with it because Sometimes it's the greatest thing in the world, and sometimes it's the worst thing you've ever touched. And it's just, it's just a love-hate relationship at that point. But just to be successful, you just have to do the little things and just do stuff over and over and over until it becomes like almost second nature. Now, people don't know you are a dual athlete at UNK. You are a member of the track team and also a member of the football team as a punter. How does this all work? So all summer and fall... I'm with the football team doing football team lifts, going to practices in the fall, all that. And then once football is over, I transition straight over to track and then I transition everything to track. So then I don't longer, I no longer lift with the football team. I lift strictly with the track and the other throwers. That's all winter and spring until javelin's done. But since spring ball is going on now, if I do not have any meets and practices, I do my best to make it to football practice or like the football scrimmages that they have. 
Well, with that kind of schedule, you have to be one busy guy. How do you balance all of this, and, and has this been what you thought it'd be? It's definitely what I thought it would be, and plus my, my major is very uh, time-intensive. I do a lot of math and a lot of physics and stuff, so I'm just busy all the time. But I knew when I uh, signed here I wanted to walk on to football, and so once I did that, I knew my schedule was going to be pretty full all the time. And so. I've kind of just buckled down, and when I have free time, either work on homework or go to practices. And then if I have any other free time, I just try to take a break for my body to recuperate. Well, Ryland, congratulations. I'm sure uh, your family and uh, the entire community of Stockton got to be uh, pretty excited for you about what you've accomplished and what can possibly lay ahead for you. Yeah, they are. I've gotten a few text messages from a few of my old coaches and some of the people I was supposed to back home. and. They've all congratulated me, so I was I was happy, and a lot of people back home are happy, too. And that is UNK athlete Rylan Bassard, who now holds the school record in the javelin throw at UNK. For KRVN Sports, I'm Jason Jorgensen.